So he's remaining stoic, he's tried to remain strong in the face of these political headwinds, but is it out of his hands? It is, Mark. Uh, he did say, I want to stay till 2020. Uh, it's interesting he mentioned the uh, vote of no confidence, but he did not mention the election. The PP knows that if we go to new elections now, it could be headed for its worst result ever. So for the prime minister, there is a sense in Madrid that really uh, he's not in control of events. This is a very weak prime minister. And at the end of the day, it's not just Rajoy. There is also this growing sense that it's the end of the cycle for the PP. You get this corruption scandals that really always come back to home them and they just won't go away. I do want to say Rajoy obviously denies any wrongdoing, but obviously it doesn't look good to them and it adds to the sense that really for the PP it might be the end of a journey. So Maria, take us through the calendar. What happens next week given that the opposition want a no confidence motion? Can they unite? What's the process over the next week? Right, it is complicated because right now we have two options on the table. The socialists are saying we want to have this vote of no confidence, get rid of Rajoy, create this government and then go to new elections. The uh, liberals of Ciudadanos now they've rocketed in polls since the Catalan crisis and this is what I think spiked the markets. They said we don't want a confidence vote, we want new elections. We want Rajoy to call them now and if he doesn't then we might consider uh, supporting this vote of no confidence. So uh, the liberals of Ciudadanos will meet on Monday and I guess that's when we're going to get a sense of what they want to do. I think really what spooked uh, markets is that so far they've always provided backup for Rajoy and today was clearly uh, a breakup point for them when they called for those new elections. Yeah and it's not going to be easy because they need to decide on who the next leader will be right Maria before they can actually get rid of Rajoy. It is. Uh, the way it works in Spain is that essentially if you want to get rid of the existing prime minister, you have to put a candidate. That's one of the reasons why the Socialist Party, by the way, in a story that we wrote last night, citing sources familiar, wanted to do this quick because they were concerned that maybe someone might do it first. So uh, essentially uh, the Socialists would have to convince the party that's leading in polls to let their candidate win and that might be something that's hard to stomach. Especially we know that Ciudadanos, if anything, the best thing for them would be to just go to new elections now if polls are right.